welcome to episode 11 of Art to Heart podcast. This is an ongoing series where we explore the principles that drive success in art and life. I'm your host Rena and today we are diving into a powerful concept about the art of persistence. Let's explore what is a persistent is all about. Persistence is often the unsung hero of achievement. It is the ability to keep going even when the going gets tough. whether you are an artist a writer or someone navigating life's challenges mastering persistence can transform your journey so how can we cultivate this essential skill in our day to day life and how can we actually become the best version of ourselves let's understand persistence breaking down about what persistence really means it's just not about stubbornness it's about commitment and resilience Think of famous figures like Thomas Edison who famously said genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perception. As today as I was hovering about what I'm going to write it for my newsletter I came across this in my brain like try one more time before giving up. As an artist I have a lot of unfinished work or as an illustrator content creator there's so many thing I create but not a lot of thing come into post majority of them either it is just archived or it is in a delete or bin option so in our life we often forget what we actually want so remember yourself when you're a child we have dream of becoming doctor lawyer or you want to be an artist singer model um, miss world miss india whatever but at the same time as you grow up as we paved into the reality of life we come across with so many uncircumstances planned we like we will never understand how are we going to do and we eventually end up doing things which favor us through our knowledge but little do we ever even thought of pondering of our past of our childhood dreams what if you have nothing to worry about but you can actually do what you really want to do this is some of the line which i always think of if there is no such thing as challenge will i really become the person i want to while i was in my 10th grade One of the thing which I always talk about is becoming a fashion designer. I did pursue my career in fashion but never really worked in fashion. Something which constantly come in my brain even though spending an entire 3 year in graduating, learning and spending those sleepless night finishing up the project, finishing up the record, showing up in the exam. We really let things go by in our life because it's just not in our right circumstance. What if when life gave one more option for you to start all over again? Will you think of it? Like we just talk about Thomas Edison, he faced thousands of failure before inventing the light bulb. But one thing which was in his brain was to invent a light bulb, right? His persistence was key to his success. And how are we going to apply this mindset in our life to actually create the thing which we want to do to make those impact and bring those better changes for our future generations to come in? cultivating a persistent mindset here are three strategies to help you master the art of persistence number 1 is set clear goals start with a specific achievable goal break them down with into smaller manageable tasks this not only makes the journey feel less overwhelming but also gives you a series of successes to celebrate along the way Setting clear goals came into my mind of the past when I was working in a corporate environment. We do have to set up a SMART goal. If anybody is working in such scenario, you will definitely realize. So SMART goal is nothing but setting a series of goals. So SMART stands for, S stands for specific, M stands for measurable, A stands for achievable, R stands for realistic and T stands for timely. So SMART goal incorporates all of these criteria to actually help you focus on your effort and increase the chance of achieving your goal. So any goal if you are setting, just make sure how specific it is. Will you really work on for it? So all these goals are set up for a yearly basis. So starting off April till the next April, right before the performance review, you have to have achieved whatever you want. You have actually made in your goal setting. So in the same scenario. 
in our day-to-day life we can actually have a clear goal of what we want from our life so imagine myself i have kept myself a target of uploading a 21 podcast because i was listening to you know uh, alex hermosi where he talks about having 21 podcast stands make you stand at the top 10% of the podcast community and i uh, for a period i think somewhere in august i heard this and i thought okay if that is a chance of me making it to top 10% of a podcasters then definitely this will be my goal because i know that every sunday if it is marked in my calendar to actually post a podcast to my audience and to my community which will actually help them implement and make them into the path which i am falling into it will definitely be happening in the year end of this series so 21 podcast for the next 3 to 4 month working on it and making sure that every sunday i show up i post is something called as clear goal right and moving on to number 2 it is to embrace a failure understand that setbacks are part of the process instead of fearing failure viewed as a stepping stone each setback is a lesson that brings you closer to your goal I have always faced step back in my life even though you may consider as someone being chilled and uploading videos on YouTube what else she has for step back but trust me I do have a lot of step backs where I feel like okay I'm not doing good enough I don't want to move it forward but actually thinking that step back as a timeline to reflect on things which have not worked for you and actually make use of those thing and when you are moving forward making sure that you don't follow the same path was what have led previously will actually help you achieve the goal which you have set in the previous step one of the story which always comes to my mind whenever i think of the setbacks and whenever i think of a failure or whenever i think of embracing failure and coming out of it is the story of jk rowling i love harry potter if you're a harry potter fan make sure to like and also comment down below which of the series you enjoy the most because jk rowling was rejected by multiple publishers before for finally finding one that believed in harry potter back in her days imagine a woman writing an entire story of just out of imagination a kids going to a magic school and things happening right her ability to keep going is a perfect example of persistent in action as she once said it is impossible to live without failing at something unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all so remembering this people like them who have been persistent who have been doing the thing they want to do and they actually know this is going to work if not today tomorrow and waking up to the same scenario hoping this day would change is actually the persistent in us which will lead us to achieve to what we really want the last and final strategy it is easy to be said than to be found surround yourself with support find a community that encourages your effort sharing your struggles and victories with others can provide motivation and accountability you surrounding yourself with the people with like mind it's something very difficult in today's scenario also very easy in today's scenario because we do have a lot of social platform where there is a like minded people who are supporting each other letting each other know that they are going through the exact same phase so that you can relate to and actually not feel so lost but at the same time in your darkest time you can listen to those great people talking about how having that lonely chapter in their life has actually make the person who you we are looking today so like ourselves we have our art community where we support each other where we uplift each other saying you are doing wonderful of whatever you are what you are teaching what you have learned so far not keeping yourself but to actually share thinking at least if it is help even one person that's all it matter to me every time i do illustrate i do post i have this thing in my mind that i know this i want to share it and there will be one person in this entire world who will actually enjoy this and who will actually learn this and that alone is enough for me to be surrounded by all of you so thank you for all my subscribers who are supporting me day in day out all of your message in instagram matters a lot to me if you have not yet subscribed please make sure to because we are a thriving community of making a better place in the world and also in the youtube community as well daily practices for persistence now let's talk about daily practices to strengthen 
our persistent muscle how are we going to build persistence in our daily life start with morning affirmations start your day with positive affirmation remind yourself that you're capable and determined this sets a tone of resilience for the day ahead if you have not listened to huberman i think there is a lot of huberman a morning routine where people in youtube have taken up the challenge and where they have done and one of the thing he does is not to pick their phone early in the morning but rather go ahead get a quick run and be in the sun and so but if you're someone who don't have chance to step out so often i highly recommend not to use your phone for the first hour of your daily morning routine just keep your phone aside even if it is your alarm don't give a snooze wake up leave the bed start your day write down at least three of the thing you're grateful for yesterday and start your morning as calmly as you can of course it is not every day is the same day there will be some day which is just jumbled up but at the same time setting yourself not to pick up phone is one of the best thing i have done in a two years three years down my road and i have really seen so much different in my life second is a mindfulness and reflection take a few minutes each day to reflect on your progress what challenges did you face how did you overcome them this practice help you recognize your growth and reinforces your commitment one of the thing is even if we had a clear goal and we have achieved it and we still feel empty somewhere inside and i think it is just due to lack of having mindfulness and reflection of what one has done in their life so going back to the diaries where you have once written like hey i want to upload a youtube video or hey i want to finish my record you would have actually finished those thing whatever you have written but you still feel like oh i could have done so much better for that there is a reflection so that is a pat on your back saying you have done what you have actually write it down so for those scenario you practicing the mindfulness and reflection comes in handy number third and final it is to celebrate small wins like i said going back into the journal to what you have written and you have actually achieved that will give you a sense of calm so don't wait for the big big victories to celebrate acknowledge and reward yourself for the small steps you took this boosts motivation and remind you of the progress you are making so you may have a dream of starting a youtube channel with over a million subscriber but you have never really worked on that but one day you wake up you write it in your notes saying 1 million subscriber and i want to be a youtuber and then you have set a clear goal for that and you have start being consistent by producing valuable content and sharing with your audience and then slowly growing up channel after a year you still look up youtube and like ah i have just got a thousand subscriber i'm going to give up that's where this entire act, art of persistence comes into picture that's when you don't give up but try and try and try again so that you actually know from 0 to 1000 it's possible then why not 1000 to a million it's not impossible it's just you are giving in the midway that persistence will actually bring the best in you that persistence will lead you to create more better content for the audience and more best in you to achieve those million subscriber some of the inspiring story as an illustrator i or as a artist i do read about is vincent van gogh where he faced numerous rejection during his lifetime and he continued to paint for over 2000 work and today he is celebrated as one of the greatest artists in history and uh, think of um, beethoven who composed some of the most famous symphonies despite losing his hearing his passion and persistence led him to create timeless music like that we can actually implement these steps or these strategies in our life to become the greatest of what we have never dreamt of in conclusion the art of persistence isn't about never failing it's about continuing to strive in the face of challenges as you move forward in your journey remember persistence is a skill you can develop 
Thanks for tuning in for today's Auto Hot podcast. Hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Let me know in the comment below which of the strategies are you taking away or which of the strategies are can you relate to. You. Till then, have a great life. Keep creating, keep pushing and remember persistent is key. See you all in the next one. Enjoy your life. Give your best. Don't give up because life is too short to give up. Try one more time. Keep on doing the thing you have once loved and you will actually be good at it, best at it and become the best version and achieve whatever your dreams are. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.